welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Christia with Chelsea McKennis and Vanessa Tutka, also known as Red Hot Whiplet and Rumbledore of the, the arch rivals here in St. Louis, arch rival Roller Girls. How you guys doing? Good. Great. Thanks for being here today. Yes. No problem. <laughs> you guys don't look like you, you're like Roller Derby Girls. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you're all cute and made up today, but you get dirty on the on the rink, huh? Yes. <laughs> you yeah. still look cute, though. <laughs> <laughs> you got to. That's the key. You have to. Tell us about what's going on with the uh, Roller Derby, Derby in St. Louis. So, our Tribal Roller Girls were founded in 2005. Um, we are a w WFTDA team, which is Women's Flat Track Derby Association. Um, they are an internationally recognized um, roller derby group. Um, uh, we got authorized in 2007, um, and we compete on a national level wow. um, with countries or uh, teams from around the country. So it's been seven years that you guys have been around. Yes. Awesome. Have you both been on teams for seven years? No. Several years? <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is my second year. And awesome. this is my, I'm hitting my one year. Cool. Yeah. So um, you're with this organization and what else? Um, so roller derby is basically um, a sport that is played on a flat track. Mm -hmm. There are five people from each team on the track at once. Um, there's one person who scores the points, mm -hmm. um, and they're called the jammer. And the jammer has a star on the side of their helmet. Um, and they gain points by passing the opposing blockers. So if you are a blocker, you're trying to stop that girl who has the star on her head. Now we're watching a little bit of this footage right now. Can you tell us a little bit about what's going on? So the girl with the purple star on her head is trying to get through the pack, which she just did. Um, once she gets through the pack once, she laps around it again and she'll start gaining points for every uh, opposing player she passes with her hips. Um, if she passes the opposing jammer, which is the other girl with the star on her head from the other team, she'll get a grand slam and that's five points. Wow. Now, there, these points are high scoring, uh, ga these games are high scoring points. Tell us yes. about the points. Um, it's not really that surprising to see really high like numbers such as like, mm, what like? 400. 400 wow. on the scoreboard. <laughs> um, you get a point, as Rumble said, for each person in the opposing team that you pass legally. Um, pass their hips. Mm -hmm. um, the person with the most points wins. <laughs> How long are, do the games usually last? The games are made up of two halves, each half lasting 30 minutes. And those 30 minute halves are made up of two minute jams. Okay. Um, there are also. Um, there's like a 10 minute half time. So our bouts usually go from about seven o'clock to like 9.30 or so. Great. Now you also have really cool names. Right? <laughs> yeah. I have Whiplet and Rumbledore. Tell us about your names. Does um, everybody have cool names? Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, I got my name because I usually have red hair. I change a lot. Um, and Red Hot Whiplets are a St. Louis thing. They're spicy. like. Yeah. They're, they're like sassy potato chips. <laughs> so it was kind of the perfect fit. Awesome, and Rumbledore. That's mine, unique. Mine is a Harry Potter reference. Okay. Um, it's actually Professor Rumbledore, but everybody just calls me Rumble or Rumbledore. Um, I'm just a nerd. I'm just a Harry <laughs> Potter nerd. <laughs> now, you guys have recently, in the last couple of years, joined the team. Was it hard for you um, to kind of understand the game, or did you already know what Roller Derby was all, or, or what it was all about and everything? Do you want to go first? <laughs> um, I actually went to my first bout in 2006. It was mm -hmm. one of their first ones. Um, so I've been around this sport. I've been following it. And then last year, I finally taught myself how to skate and tried out. And it was pretty hard, you know, especially to, like, watch it and then actually play it. Right. But I don't know. I mean, the longer you're in it, the more you watch, the more you get it. Right. So, Rumble, do you have to be, like, a great skater? Or do you, you kind of learn have as you go? <laughs> or what? Um, in order to start, you don't have to really know how to skate all that well. Um, we'll teach you. Um, you have to get your own gear, obviously. Mm -hmm. But um, it's... Some people are quicker than others. Um, it's really fun, but um, yeah, you have to be able to um, skate 25 laps within five minutes, which sounds like a lot, but that's, it's pretty tough. And um, you have to be able to skate without like falling over and you have right. to be able to take contact. Do you have to skate backwards? Or just yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a prerequisite to skate backwards. Yes. Now, are you guys recruiting? There's like, there's how many local teams here? And Four local teams, okay. and we are always recruiting. That's great. What are some of the um, qualities of a good roller derby person to um, join your team? <laughs> someone who's very dedicated, mm -hmm. someone who's willing to give the time commitment and, you know, open to criticism because that's how you're going to get better and right. someone who's willing to put in hard work and, you know, dedication and 
someone who is a good team player. That's like the number one thing you need to be able to do is just work with the team and work well. Great. You guys don't go anywhere. We have a lot more to talk about when it comes to Derby. You guys will be right back right after this.